Hey guys, Jesse here. Going to give a little uh, grow tent experimentation update. We're pretty much going to do a bunch of experiments in this tent from now on. And uh, the main fruiting tent is going to be the 12 by 8 in the garage. But I want to show y'all some of these, some of the experiments. we got this third flush king oyster going over here. Give it a third flush a little bit on that. Uh, second and third flush blue oysters down there. But what I really want to show you guys today is very exciting. We got the laundry bucket pink oysters with fuel uh, with wood pellets only, so there's no other substrate in there but wood pellets and birdseed. We got the pink oysters blooming out the sides, popping out. Ba boom, boom. I think I knocked one of these off yesterday. Even vacuuming, but uh, boom, boom, and da -da -da. so super cool. See the pink oysters coming out of the side there, and uh, I want to show you all that. Got the black rishi over here. Looking very, let's see if you can see that through the bag. Very good. So this in the back there. Got just a slick cut in the tip. Just a little bit of oxygen. Not a lot. I want to grow taller. Very slow growing. Black rishi. Very nice. This seems to have stalled a little bit over here. So it hasn't really grown, so I'm gonna harvest it. it. Seems to be done, but I'm calling it stalled because this is not super heavy. But I think it's just reached its lifespan. Uh, come back up here. So we have the uh, lion's mane second flush here. It looks like it's about done. Got the bear's head, Hurricane Mabitis first flush, and Hurricane Mabitis first flush. All the rest of these are Hurricane Mabitis second flush, with this one being massive. And uh, I'm gonna harvest this today. I'm gonna harvest this today and cut those for the second flush. And now I wanna come over and show you these king oysters I'm growing out of coffee jugs. So I'm gonna start saving all these and using them. Um, there we go, got some king oyster pens growing out of the coffee jug. Super cool. And uh, the other one's doing some weird stuff. Get some uh, pins coming off the top inside flaps that grew and fell over. And it's some kind of like fetus in fetu thing here. It's almost trying to shoot out like some kind of shaft out of that little hole there. So that, I thought that was super cool. Like a pin set inside of that little cave. Uh, not a lot of pins on this one yet, but you can see them coming, pin formations. And then of course you can see those nice King Oyster pins right there. So growing right out of the folders. See we inoculated that on the 11th of June and we already have King Oysters. So amazing pen sets there. You see the fruiting liquid on it and whatnot. See how big some of these bears heads have gotten. Nice hand palm size. Um, this would be like third or fourth flush for this giant blue oyster. I can't even remember, but uh, I just harvested a couple blue oysters last night and then peeled the entire bag off and see if we can get any pins out of that. Um, probably gonna do the same with this one. It's starting to stall out. Seems like I had a nice pen set and then has uh, only produced a handful of mushrooms. So you might rip that whole thing off. I'm gonna try testing that with all these, uh, you know, blocks of oyster mushrooms because I'm of the opinion that you can get some nice later flushes. We may even do some dunking or something. I'll let you guys know. But just wanted to share with you. Everything's beautiful. Nice bear's head mushrooms. Good sized. Gonna harvest those two today. Now we're gonna switch on over to the main grow tent out in the garage. All right. Coming into the main 12 by 8 pop-up grow tent you saw in my prior videos. Got the, uh, move things around a little bit, but we have some amazing pin sets here of King Oysters. And, uh, Reese of Americanum over there. Or sorry, Reese of Ibitus over there. This is all King, this whole rack of King Oysters. These all just got opened up in the past couple days. Except for these ones on top. See, those are starting to pin nicely here. Nice pins. Slow this camera down for you. Start getting uh, excited. Nice pin sets forming on the top of there. It's one of the best King Oyster pin sets coming in the half. Uh, come over here. This big bag. Some King Oysters in there. And King Oyster things. Harusu Mabitis up here. Starting to get the fruiting bodies coming in. More king oyster in the back over there. Looking nice. 
boom, boom. All, all kings. And we all have all lines main fruiting liquid coming up here. See those little liquids? It's fruiting liquid. It's a good sign. You always want to see that. Moisture mixing with the fruiting liquid helps it fruit more, I, I assume. I think the high humidity mixing with the fruiting liquid helps it get uh, wider fruits across the top. Another rack down here. Got some pink oysters we're about to cut in the back. More king, uh, more lion's mane over here. Harissa marinaceus. More lion's mane over here. Harissa marinaceus. The uh, Harissa coralloides we harvested the other day are coming into second flush. See those? I did three slits on this one. Three slits on this one. We got a pins here, here, and here. And a big T slit on this one. Testing slits. So we have growth all along there and here. My hope is to try to fruit this face. There's one big diagonal slit here. And those are all coralloides. In the back, we got some more. Just brought these out last night. Gonna go ahead and cut these today or tomorrow. And uh, you see some of these fruiting in the bag, fruiting in the bag, fruiting in the bag. These are lion's mane, Harissa marinaceus. Same here, Harissa marinaceus. Uh, oh, I got all our pink oysters down here. I need to get these sliced. They're ready to fruit. You can tell, here you go, see? Pink is getting um, very mature for our Pleurotus Deja Moore. Shown to fight tuberculosis a little bit. I posted that video the other day. Uh, the king oysters, we got any pin sets in these yet? Mm, oh, got some pin sets coming in in there. Some pin sets coming in over there. Mm, some more pins in there. Oh, nice king oyster pins. More in there. A little hard to see because, you know, the mycelium's clogging the side. This one, see where the air's gotten down, it's trying to pin on the side. And I, that's the, you know, one of those things that happens but uh can still produce some nice mushrooms but yeah i'm gonna get these sliced open today for the pinks pinks down there and uh oh, let's get a close-up of that nice king oyster there nice kings boom boom all right thanks for watching y'all much love drop any questions or comments below in the chat let me know and uh, i'll try to get to them as quick as possible much love, y'all.